I'm Wayne. I'm Lawnside Feeders Safety Co-Chair. With me today I have Greg. He's also on our safety committee. What we're going to show you today is the proper method of working with landing gear. First thing you want to do, leather palm gloves. Protect your hands. Get the handle in the right position. You want to either use two-hand method, have your feet planted under you. We've all dealt with landing gear that makes you sweat, makes you work, and uh, this one's rather easy. I can get away with my feet firmly on the ground, hand for support, keeping a firm grip on the handle. You don't want to do the finger method, going real fast, what could happen, you come off the knuckle, come up, and make contact with me. You also want to make sure when the landing gear is all the way up, when the landing gear is all the way up, you want to make sure both sides go up, the footings are flat, and you want to clean off any rocks or debris that's sitting on the foot. It can bounce off, go into someone's windshield. We don't need any of that. Now, Greg, is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, thanks, Wayne. So basically, the same process when lowering the landing gear. Two-hand method. And lower landing gear. When lowering the landing gear, you want to leave at least an inch gap between the foot and the ground. You also want to check to make sure both legs went down evenly. Also, this is a good time to stow your handle. You're right here, stow the handle. The reason why we leave an inch gap to an inch and a half gap is that it keeps the equipment all at the same height. When you want a couple, we like the trailer to slide lightly off of the tractor or the jockey wagon. I have a shifter here, and when I come along, I want to see this trailer come up off the ground. That ensures I have good pressure between the fifth wheel and the apron plate. That will ensure that you will never high hook or skip the pitch. So these are the methods we use here when dealing with landing gear. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.